At the sitting of Tuesday last, the Honorable Second Member for Polwi Maritime and Polwi East, Honorable Amiemia, raised the point of order in, order in regard to an alleged case of tampering with the official report of 4th of April 2017. A perusal of the extracts tabled in fact reveals a discrepancy between the two versions of the same extract of the proceedings of the House, which appear to have been downloaded from the website of the National Assembly on two different dates. Honorable Members, Standing Order 16 provides as follows. I put, an official report containing a report which shall be as nearly as possible verbatim of all speeches made at each sitting shall be prepared under the supervision of the speaker and published under the authority of the assembly, unquote. As you are aware, the responsibility of preparing the official reports lies on the Hansard unit. The established workflow process consists of the reporting, various levels of sub-editing, and final editing of the proceedings of the House prior to the finalization and publication thereof under the supervision of the Speaker and under the authority of the Assembly. This is a protracted process. Formally, the publication of official reports took years to be finalized and become accessible. It is only since 2009 that the proceedings of the House are uploaded on the website of the National Assembly within 24 hours of a sitting with the express mention unrevised. That process made it possible for the proceedings of the House to be accessible to one and all within such a short delay. At that point in time, it was a laudable initiative since it was the only way Parliament could be brought to the people. However, as you are surely aware, the mention unrevised which accompanies the proceedings qualifies the said version as being non-authoritative. That is, there is a disclaimer from the National Assembly in case of error or omission. In other words, the responsibility of the National Assembly is engaged only when the revised version is uploaded, which occur after the correctness of the reporting is ascertained. In the case under hand, true it is that the two different versions of the same extract of the proceedings of 4th of April 2017 have been uploaded on the website of the National Assembly, but both bear the mention unrevised, that is, both are non-authoritative Therefore, to all intents and purposes, no contempt of the Assembly can be said to have been established, and I rule accordingly. However, I must add that I have looked into the matter, and it has been ascertained that the discrepancy referred to had altered the substance of the proceedings of that part of the proceedings in question. I can assure the House that the omitted part has now been restored. I thank, however, the Honourable Member for having drawn my attention to such a serious matter. I also wish to reassure the House that an internal inquiry is being carried out to look thereinto, in as much as the general principle regarding the records is that corrections if any, are confined to clerical mistakes 
and cannot improve or alter the substance or form of the reporter's copy. In the light of the inquiry, if required, the whole reporting and editing of the proceedings of the House will be reviewed to prevent any such recurrence in the future. I thank you.